Always lift and support the trailer per manufacturer's recommendations. Always lift the trailer by the frame and never by the axle or suspension components as they are not designed or rated for the dead weight point of contact loads that the trailer frame is. Do not go under the trailer unless it is properly supported. To avoid injury, be sure to wear the proper protective equipment. Next, you will need to loosen and remove the lug nuts holding the tire in place. Save these as you will need them later. When using an impact to remove lug nuts, ensure the socket has come to a complete stop prior to moving on to the next lug nut, so as not to round off the corners of that lug nut. Once the lug nuts are removed, remove the tire from the hub assembly and place off to the side. Using a floor jack, lift the axle by the tie plate gently and support with a jack stand. Using a wrench and impact, we will now begin removing the shackles. Place the wrench on the head of each bolt to prevent it from spinning and wallowing out the shackle or hanger holes. Using your impact, remove each nut from the back side of each bolt. Keep the nuts handy as they can be used to protect the threads if you need to tap a stubborn bolt out later. Next, we will remove the shackles from the inside. Then, we will remove the front shackles and bolts. If any of the bolts is hard to remove, you can replace the nut on the back side with the threads and gently tap the splines free. Then, remove the nut and pull the bolt free. This will be the method used to pop the bolt out that is holding the equalizer in place. With your equalizer and all of your hardware uninstalled, Take a moment to inspect for any flaws or damage. Next, we need to install our new equalizer. When placing the bolt back in to hold the new equalizer, we need to seat it in the hanger with a mallet. Be sure to place the nut on the back side first, as this will help prevent the bolt from bouncing free and catching a thread on the inside of the hanger. Reinsert your outer shackles and shackle bolts to secure the equalizer to the spring axles. Then, reinstall each of the inner shackles. To hold everything together, we will now reinstall the four remaining nuts. Again, we will use a wrench to prevent the bolts from spinning and causing damage and an impact to tighten everything back down. Make sure when using the impact to tighten your bolts that you tighten down until each nut reaches the shoulder of the bolt. With the bolts secure, we need to grab a torque wrench to check and ensure that each bolt has been tightened down properly. Set the torque wrench to between 35 and 55 foot-pounds, and remember to use a wrench on the head of each bolt while doing so to prevent them from spinning. Apply pressure with the torque wrench until you feel a pop, ensuring that each bolt has been tightened properly. With everything now properly secured, we need to lower our axles back down. To do this, again, place the jack underneath the tie plate and gently lift the axle up off the supports. Remove your support from underneath your axle and lower it back down into position. Roll your tire back into place. Line the holes up with the lug nut studs and remount your tire. Once the wheel has been remounted, grab your lug nuts from where you stored them and replace them all by hand. Continue to hand tighten the wheel lug nuts to help prevent cross threading when you use your impact. Next, retighten your lug nuts following a star shape pattern to ensure that the tire is properly mounted. Just like when taking lug nuts off, ensure that the socket on your impact is not still spinning when trying to reinsert on the lug nuts, as this could round off the corners of the lug nuts. Next, you will once again want to lift the chassis up off the jack stands. Once the jack stands are free, remove them and lower the frame back down. With the tires back on the ground, grab a torque wrench and tighten each lug nut down to the recommended torque specs found in the service manual. Tighten your lug nuts in the same star pattern you used to tighten them down with your impact. Check and retorque your wheel lug nuts after 10, 25, and 50 miles and check periodically during regular service. 